Uh, hello again. I'm Najib from Algeria. And in this video, I will talk about the coverability graph. Of course, in the last video, we have seen how to create, how to build a coverability graph. But we say that we said that there is some example where the coverability graph can be uh, can have infinite uh, markings. Okay. So in this video, I will show you how to deal with this problem. Okay. So we have this this petri petri net, and let's initialize the first marking we have one token here zero here and zero here we have just the three places okay so we have so p1 p2 and p3 the initial marking m0 is equal so we have one token in p1 zero in p2 and zero in p3 so from this marking here what we can do from this marking, I can fire T2 or T1, okay? So T2, T1 or T2. When I fire T2 from this marking, so I fire this, so I remove this token from here, and I add one token here and one here, okay? So I, so I get 0, 1, 1, okay? So let's let's before let's understand the problem and then I will show you how to deal with it. Okay. Uh, but here if I fire, so from the marking 100, zero, zero, if I fire T1, so I remove this and I add one here. So I get zero, one, uh, zero. Okay. So from here there is no so that's ended now we see all the fire the fireable transition from this marking here also there is no uh transition is uh, fireable from this marking from this zero one one so we have zero one one the 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 fireable transition is t3 just t3 when i fire t3 so I remove this token and this token, and I add one here and one here, okay? So I get the marking one, one, zero. So from this marking, from this marking, what I can fire, so I can fire this or this, okay? So I can fire T1 or uh, T2, okay? If I fire T2, so I remove this and I add one here and one here. So I get zero, uh, two, one, okay? And if I fire T1 from the marking, one one here so if i fire this so i remove and i add two here so i get zero two zero okay if i fire this so here there is no fireable from this marking if i fire from uh, excuse me if i fire from this marking here zero two one yes zero two one when i fire here I fire T3, I fire T3, so I, get, I remove one from here and one from here and I add one here and I add one here, okay? So I get one, two, uh, zero. If you notice, <coughs> so here from this we can fire T1, or T2. You notice that this this uh, coverability graph or this automata here, where the transitions are the labels of this automata. That the, so we won't stop. We just keep running this. So this this automata here is just like that. T1, T2, 
G3, G1, G2, G3, G3 here, and so on. Okay? So how we can deal with that, with this problem? So we just introduced the symbol W. Okay? Let me show you how to how to use it. Let's just erase this this side here. So if we have two markings M1 and M2 and M1 is reachable from M2, we will write RM2. For example, this is reachable from this. Okay. And if we have, if we notice that M1 is great or equal than M2, what does that mean M1 is greater than M2? If I have M1 is equal 1 as 0, zero 1 and M2 equals 0, 0, 0, 1. Here this is greater or equal than this. Why? Because for all markings, the, the marking of this is greater or equal than this. For example, 1 is greater or equal than 0, 0 is greater than or equal than 0, 0 is greater or equal than 0, and 1 is greater than or equal than 1. If, if this is greater or equal than this, in this case, for example, we make M1, so if M1 P is greater than M2, excuse me, P here. So what we do, we just make that M1 P equal W. For example, in this case, so we say that M1 is greater than M0. And this is reachable from this. So we just, so that's greater than this. So before, because that one is strictly greater than zero, so we replace one by W. Okay. So let's use this idea here. So we said that here there is no fireable transition from this place here. From this place, so we have 0, 1, 1. Here we can fire T3. T3, okay? When I fire T3, what I get, so when I fire T3, so I remove this, and I remove this and I return back one here and one here to get P1 equal one and P2 equal one and P3 equal zero. Here we notice that this, this marking here is reachable from this one. And this is greater or equal than this. Why? Because 1 is greater than or equal than 1, and 1 is greater or equal than 0, and 0 is greater or equal than 0. So we replace this one by W. Okay? So from this marking now, I talk about this one here. What I can fire? I can fire T1. I can fire T1. Or I can fire T2. Okay. When I fire, if I fire T1, so I remove this and I add it here. So I have, I get 0, 2, 0. This is not great or equal any one of this, this path here. It's a great or equal than this, but we can't replace because this is not reachable from this one here. Okay. And for this, when I fire T2 from from 1, 1, 0, when I fire this, I get so 2 here and 1 here. Okay. So I get 0, 
uh, excuse me, yes, two, one. And this is also, you can notice that this is greater or equal than this marking, okay? Because zero is greater or equal than zero, two is greater or equal than one, and one is greater or equal than uh, one. Because this is strictly greater than one, so we make it W. Okay. So we can't fire any uh, one from this here, and but from this, from this transition here, I can fire T3. When I fire T3, so I remove one from here and one from here, and I add one here and one here. So I so I get the one in P1 and two in P2 and 0 mp3 you notice, you notice that this is gr strict uh, greater or equal than this one and since 2 is strictly greater than 0 so we replace it by w okay what does that mean that mean that this uh, we have already this marking which is here okay that means that from this when i fire t3 i just go here And that's ended here. So that's the marking. That's the cover coverability graph of this uh, petri net. Okay. So that's it. Uh, if you have any remark, just put it in the comment section below. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you like this video. See you later.